been a while since I posted a video. Let me show you what I've been up to. If you remember during the unboxing, I had mentioned that this body was somewhat rough. To tackle that, we're gonna need some sandpaper. 600 grits, what I got handy. Some nail files from the dollar store. Some super glue in case we need to fill in any sink marks. And finally, some good sharp sprue cutters. Now if you're lucky like me, your nail files are kind of warped. For some reason, people who do nails do not like these. But for us, they're perfect because they fit in all the contours. Now off camera, I sanded down all the mold lines, filled all the little pinholes. You've all seen me do that before, and I'm trying to kind of mix it up here and not keep it all the same and not in this boring repeat stuff you've seen me do a thousand times. So I wiped the body down with a damp paper towel just to knock off any sanding dust. So now I'm just going to blow it dry and knock off anything else that may have landed on it between here and then. And as always, I'm using my trusty white Tamiya primer. So I gave it three coats of this, gave it a good sanding with a 3000 grit sanding sponge, then wiped it all down and got it ready for paint. Now this is the official color, as called out by Audi. Splash paint makes it, so I'm going to use it. You should know the drill by now. Start off in the fender wells, all the door jams, any overhangs, just the part that you're going to overlook and forget to spray. Now this silver, for some reason, did not cover that well. It took about five coats to get it to this point. Now keep in mind this is straight out of the paint booth and the paint is still wet. Now I do not have a good eye for color. However, this looks very familiar to me. I've seen this before. This stuff, as far as my eye could tell, is an exact match to the Tamiya TS-17 Gloss Aluminium Spray. To test that theory, I sprayed some of it on just the closest thing I had, a water bottle. Looks pretty close, eh? I don't know how it happened, but I started laying down decals and my glasses broke. So I laid out the decal the best I could, then went and got my old hipster glasses from my gun safe. 
if you remember during the unboxing, I talked about how when the plastic flows together, it kind of creates a pattern, and on the roof line there was a cross. These decals suck down and conform so well that you could see that pattern through them. So just like the Corvette, there is a ton of decals. And just like the Corvette, I am just going to kind of zoom through them and just show me placing them without wasting a lot of time positioning them. All up from start to finish, decals maybe took me about 4 hours. So as you can imagine, I cut a lot of that out. Anywho, decals, pitter patter, let's get at her. I'm going to chime in here real quick and say that I could not really understand how or where these decals laid out. So I went online, I watched a few builds of this car, and I came to one conclusion. That conclusion is that they just do not fit that well. The few people I watched, namely the Japanese model masters, they just painted this entire area black. So while I had some black in my airbrush, I masked off and painted the rear fascia as well. Now I will say that looking back, I wish that I had watched the rest of those videos and not just kind of saw what I needed to see and quit watching. And that is because I wasted some paint here. If you look at it finished to decal in a proper position, that's really all the black that shows. Anywho's back to the music. I'll chime in when I feel it's necessary. Right about now is a good time to glue this piece in. The instructions, they had a few numbers backwards. I don't remember what the actual number was, and my phone screen's kind of little, so I can't see those numbers. But if you switch them around, they fit a whole lot better. There is also an order to these that the manual does not mention. The black mask that goes around the fog light, it goes down first. That little leg thing at the bottom is supposed to be kind of help you align it, then that all gets covered with a red decal. Now since you know that I have the red decal on the other side, 
What I ended up having to do was cut that little leg off and just align it all the very best I could. It's not perfect, and I will admit to you that it looks just a bit flawed, but just like most little flaws, if I didn't point it out, you probably wouldn't notice them. Just temporarily tape that in place. It really, really helps with alignment. Yeah, that looks pretty level to me. Now if you remember, the detail set came with some carbon fiber decals. The one that was supposed to wrap around the rear wing, it was way oversized. So if you see, there is a very tiny seam there. What I've done is I just split it down the middle and overlapped it on the bottom. Now I figured with doing that down at the bottom, that could be somewhat hidden and that'll keep the top very smooth. Now other than the carbon fiber decals, everything else was just decals from the kit. I want to apologize for this video taking so long to get out. There's a few reasons for that. One, I'm back at work. Two, the decals went over other decals. Now, whenever I'm putting a decal over another decal, I want the bottom decal to be locked in place and as dry as possible. Now, there are a few reasons for that. Mostly being that whenever I'm using the micro set and the micro saw, when these decals dry and suck down, sometimes, and not very often, they will rip. So for any reason, if there is a mistake or an error, I want to be able to fix them and then hide them with the top decal. These little canard things. Did we decide if they were pronounced canard or canard? I don't remember what they're called. However, they had their own little decals too. And 
I have decided that I will glue them in before I do the final clear coat. All these decals left that gigantic pile of backing paper right there by that set me trigger group. Actually, don't look at that. Look at the broken glasses. Yeah, glasses are broken. Anywho, I'm gonna wrap this video, and a lot of you probably realize hey, you didn't shoot any clear coat over this. Well, you've seen me do that before, and I don't want to waste anyone's time with that because it is boring. So I'll just see y'all in the next video.